Here's an overall diagram of the system. Events come from a calendar source, usually in the cloud or on the phone, and they're taken by the app. And the app also maintains a database of travel times and locations where the user has traveled. And the app uses this data to generate predictions of how long it's going to take to travel to the next destination on the calendar. This is then displayed on the pocket watch face and also transmitted to the physical pocket watch if one is connected. Both the app and both the app and the physical pocket watch also display the name of the next event, the time when it's going to occur, the location, and the current time. Here's how the software will work. There will be a service running on the phone that takes the user's current time and location from the phone's operating system, along with the calendar data from whatever calendar source the user uses, and maintains the database of travel times between locations on the Earth. Using this data, it generates predictions for how late or early the user will be to the next event, and displays them using system notifications and through the app or a widget and other display mechanisms. It also sends them via Bluetooth to the physical pocket watch. Here's a diagram for the physical pocket watch. At its core is a microcontroller and it's connected to several peripherals. The peripherals shown here are just potential peripherals. They won't necessarily all be included in the final product. The most basic ones are the needle to indicate how late or early the user will be to the next event, the screen to give details about the next event, Bluetooth to communicate with the phone, and user input using a button or tilt switch. Other ones that could be included are battery level sensing, a light sensor for night mode, a sensor for being held so that it can prepare to display, position feedback for the needle, so that it's accurate, a speaker or buzzer for notifications, a vibrator for notifications, and LEDs for indicating other things.